I think uh, art is uh, something essential for the people, especially nowadays, to feel more freedom, especially in our our countries and states that are becoming more and more controlled and policed. I think uh, art has uh, the essential role of uh, bringing freedom and uh, individuality. Uh, yeah and it can profit all the people in the society. I mean, art's supposed not to be too linked to business. And, and I mean, like sometimes when you have this kind of situation, you really feel people really enjoy art. Uh, my name is uh, Mimi. I am uh, from France. And uh, I have an art center in uh, Chiang Mai since two years. And I'm also a painter. I'm like uh, Sebastian, I'm working here at Faculty of Fine Art. I'm an art historian. My name is Montana and I'm a lecturer in the painting division and I do uh, site-specific installations and paintings. Every person they say that they cut budget of art, or I can say like maybe culture, but I feel that now you really feel people who have like to lock down like in France, uh, they feel if you don't have maybe movies, uh, like uh, movies, documentaries, art, different form. I mean, what you do in your life, you work, you only work. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I feel sometimes like this, the position or the place of art is something that maybe people try to say that's not something important in, in life, mm -hmm. but I'm not agree. Luxury. Yeah, no. I mean, that's, essential. I think that's essential and very, very important. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with all of this. I do think that like art is in a, like, a crisis, so, like everything else, and I think people are searching for ways that they can continue to find meaning within art outside of art just being a commodity, kind of what you were saying. So I think that there's like a huge kind of dilemma there that we're trying to sort out. Like for this workshop, uh, like the idea is to, to have like a maybe 10 students and we all need to choose like one person that we think that maybe can be linked uh, to our student like to their work they practice and they were thinking about art for me i was thinking that's maybe good experience for the students uh, to meet her not only as an artist not only as a curator but also as a woman i presented my work like uh, my work as a curator as a gallerist uh, and after the second part was uh, presenting my personal work, which is quite linked actually with my practice as a curator. Uh, and I really hope, uh, because me, I studied art, I never studied how to be a curator or, or uh, business or nothing, I just studied art. So when I got out of school, I, I really didn't know I was going to be a curator. So I think it's interesting that art students uh, get the feeling that they they can do so many things after art school. They don't only have to stick with being an artist, and they they feel uh, they uh, I know they, they lost the way. If they are not artists immediately. Actually, it takes quite a, a long time, and you have to struggle quite some years before becoming who you really want to become. So I hope uh, it inspired them to just take it easy and step by step. And, and let them see what life uh, has to propose to them and go with the flow. But at the same time, as you say, um, during maybe 10 years, you're not really focused on your own practice, yeah. but after you're back to this, so that's, yeah, maybe you can spend 10 years without working, but you're still in, you were in the art world, but of course, not as an artist. I was what yeah. was happening in the art world, I was observing how galleries work, because for, for an artist, a very young artist, it's very, yeah, very difficult to engage with all of this uh, world, because like, you're not prepared. Yeah, and it's just nice for the students also to have um, visiting artists come so they can see, you know, how a professional artist thinks about their work, um, engages in different techniques, and it's just nice for the students to have this experience of someone actually coming into the classroom also.
second part of the workshop was um, drawing. I like drawing because it can be very uh, immediate, it's very fast, you have a result very fast. You can see everybody's personality in a, in a click, you know. So um, I wanted to help them to uh, liberate themselves from what they have learned before with their skills. Because in Thailand everything is a, is a bit too much about the skills, you know, like, uh, so I wanted to, them to explore more, uh, yeah, how to liberate themselves from uh, everything they have learned. I mean, that also was one point, like, some of the students, they, they show you their work, so you can discuss ah, with them about... Yeah, that was very and not as a yeah. not as a teacher, but just as a, like another artist yeah. or a curator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's very interesting. Yeah.